The Dark Knight Rises, short movie review. Following the events of The Dark Knight, which I won't spoil here, don't worry, some new laws have been passed, which pretty much means the end of organized crime in Gotham City. Batman is no longer necessary, and so he retires, but Bruce Wayne doesn't fill that void with anything, and it causes a bit of a rift between him and Alfred. And then one day, Bane, a mysterious, excuse me, masked man, excuse me, shows up and forces Batman out of retirement. But one has to wonder if even Batman is able to take him out. This movie does so much so well. There's almost nothing to actually complain about. It can be a little tough to follow, even if you're paying very close attention. And sometimes it's a little difficult to tell, like motivations and such. There's this really out of nowhere romance subplot thing. Other than that, it's just, it's fantastic. And of course it doesn't have the Joker, but how could it? The Catwoman is perfect. You know, she's a femme fatale, she's, she's really dangerous and risky, and you don't know if you can trust her or not. They do fantastic justice to that character. Bane is terrifying, really physically dominating character. And Tom Hardy does a fantastic job of acting using mostly his eyes and his eyebrows. That is a major strain on an actor to not be able to emote using their face. You know, even Batman has at least the lower half of his face in addition to his eyes. On that, the Bat voice is back, but it's not as bad as it is in The Dark Knight. I'm not sure if he's... I think he's doing it with less intensity, at least. The acting is phenomenal. From all the returning characters, Lucius Fox gets some more to do than he has in the others. And this does some things that they couldn't have done if it wasn't the end, the, the big finish, the, the finale to the trilogy. And the movie is all the better for it. It does really, as with The Dark Knight, strain and drain the audience. Raising the tension and the stakes really high very early on and then really not letting up from then on out. And it's also very, very bleak, as was The Dark Knight. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.